नमस्कार आई एम डी वेलकम्स यू इन दिस डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग प्रोग्राम टुडे इज फिफ्थ मे एफ बी सी टुडे इज हाईलाइट्स वी आर मैंशनिंग थ्री हाईलाइट्स फर्स्ट इज रिगार्डिंग हीट वेव कंडीशन विच आर लाइकली टू कंटिन्यू ओवर ईस्ट इंडिया टेल टुडे एंड ओवर साउथ मनसल इंडिया टेल टुमारो देन देर इज ए पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ अवेटमेंट ऑफ हीट वेव कंडीशन ओवर दीज रीजन देर आफ्टर एंड सेकेंड पॉइंट इज रेड टू हैवी रेनफॉल विच इज likely to continue over northeast india till 7th of may and there is a possibility of intensity over the northeast india thereafter and third point related to bat spell accompanied with thunderstorm lightning gusty winds and as well hail storm activity also likely uh, over uh, eastern parts of the country and southern peninsula during 5th to 9th may and there is a possibility of heavy rainfall we will discuss later so these are the highlights now this is observed weather so mainly heat wave conditions prevailed over the eastern parts of the country and south central india yesterday heat wave to severe heat wave, heat wave conditions prevailed at iceberg pockets over the native west bengal and uh, and tamil nadu region and heat wave conditions at iceberg pockets over bihar jharkhand odisha andhra pradesh telangana and indian karnataka so these are the heat waves status and uh, this is uh, some of the stations uh, uh, recorded uh, uh, more than 43 degrees celsius so we are listing in some of the stations so yesterday 46 degrees celsius which was the highest uh, uh, in our country over nandial station in railsima and followed by 45 over telangana and so on abc overall maximum temperature status so we can say that uh, this parts of the country especially south central india central parts of the country and eastern parts of the country where temperature are in the range of 43 to 45 degrees celsius otherwise uh, over remaining parts of along the west coast along the rajasthan madhya pradesh region and remaining parts of east india where temperature are in the range of 40 to 43 degrees celsius and these are above normal over eastern parts of the country south central india and over north east india otherwise over northwest part of the country central parts of the country and western parts of the country temperatures are uh, Uh, either normal or in the near normal category so these are the temperature status now these are the synoptic conditions so we are having one weaker uh, big big western disturbance which are not going to give very uh, very intense weather over northwest india however this is uh, today roughly over afghanistan region as a trough in lower and middle tropical levels and there is a cyclone circulation over northeast bihar and it trough runs from this cyclone circulation over north northeast bihar to northern northern parts of odisha across gangetic west bengal in lower tropical levels and there is another cyclone circulation over uh, northeast assam which is extending up, extending up to 3.1 km above mean level they are there and then the winds uh, which are uh, favorable for moisture incursion uh, from your bengal uh, going to northeast parts of the country and this incursion of moisture likely to continue till 7th of may over northeast india and there is a cyclone circulation of marathwada in lower tropical levels and there is a trough or wind discontinuity runs from this cyclone circulation over marathwada to southern parts of tamil nadu across into karnataka so under the these synoptic systems uh, uh, this wind discontinuity and cyclone circulation which is favorable for south central india and adjoining central parts of the country and this cyclone circulation over northeast bihar and this trough line over uh, eastern parts of the country which is favorable for weather for east india and there is a moisture incursion and uh, there is a cyclone circulation over uh, northeast assam and this northeast bihar region so under these uh, conditions this uh, northeast part of the country weather is expected now if we will discuss uh, heat wave warning so as already mentioned in the highlights there today today and tomorrow mainly uh, today eastern parts of the country heat wave conditions likely to continue and tomorrow Uh, till today and tomorrow uh, during, during next two days a uh, spell of heat wave will likely continue over south and india and there is a possibility of uh, a reduction of these uh, spell of heat wave conditions from these regions uh, uh, from 6th of may so in nutshell we can say that today heat wave to severe wave conditions likely to continue over gangetic west bengal at isolated, isolated locations and heat wave, heat wave conditions uh, likely to continue over uh, bihar and uh, odisha region today and in south central india heat wave conditions are likely to continue over telangana andhra pradesh and uh, also over into karnataka and tamil nadu and uh, there is a possibility of heat wave conditions today over vidarbha region also on 6 uh, heat wave conditions likely to develop over saurashtra region 
and uh, also likely to continue over Vidarbha region on 6th, otherwise over eastern parts of the country, no heat wave burning has been issued by IMD. However, over South Minnesota India, Telangana, Rail Sima and India Karnataka including Tamil Nadu also, uh, which are uh, expected to continue heat wave condition on 6th, on 7th heat wave conditions has been issued for uh, Saurashtra region and a fresh spell of heat wave condition is expected over western parts of the Rajasthan from 7th and will, uh, which is likely to continue on 8th and 9th. And uh, over interior Karnataka, again from 8th, no, no heat wave warning has been issued for uh, South Minnesota India, however, western, northwest and western parts of the country, including western parts of Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, and Saurashtra and Kutch region, which is expected to develop heat wave on 8th. On 9th, the spell is likely to continue over the same region of Rajasthan, western parts of the Madhya Pradesh, and Saurashtra and Kutch region. So, these are the heat wave warning. And now we will discuss about uh, rainfall and associated thunderstorm and hailstorm activities. So today heavy to very heavy rainfall is expected over Assam and Meghalaya region and heavy rainfall is expected over Arunachal Pradesh and uh, Nagaland region, mainly Mizoram Tobra region. On 6th, heavy spell is uh, continue over heavy to very very over Assam and Meghalaya and heavy rainfall over Arunachal Pradesh and Nagaland region, Tobra. And on 6th, heavy rain fall is expected over Gangetic West Bengal with intense thunderstorm and gusty wind activity on 6th. On 7th again this activity of heavy rainfall over Gangetic West Bengal likely to continue and uh, thunderstorm with gusty wind the speed reaching 40 to 50 km is expected over Bihar region and with the same wind speed with the uh, hail storm activity also expected over Jharkhand on 7th and heavy rainfall is expected uh, to continue over Assam Meghala and Narayan Manipur Mujaram Tupra on 7th. And a fresh swell heavy uh, rain is expected over Odisha and this region of Telangana, Coastal Pradesh, Raya Sima, Kerala and Tamil Nadu on 7th. On 8th heavy rainfall is expected over Odisha and continue uh, likely to continue over Tamil Nadu, Kerala and uh, Raya Sima on 8th. And thunderstorm with the uh, gusty wind speed reaching 40 to 50 is expected to continue over Bihar on 8th. And from 9th this intensity of the thunderstorm and uh, heavy rainfall will reduce over eastern parts of the country, South Minnesota. India. However, heavy rainfall is expected over Kerala on 9th. So these are the weather warning. In summary, uh, we can say that heavy rainfall spell which is going to continue uh, over northeast India till 7th of May and heavy rainfall accompanied with thunderstorm, lightning, gusty wind uh, and uh, hail storm at isolated locations also expected over eastern parts of the country and south central India uh, during uh, uh, 5th of May that is today to 9th of May during next 4 days and heavy rainfall in between will uh, receive over different parts of the east and south central India as discussed uh, just now. If we see the distribution of the rainfall so under the influence of uh, current western disturbance, isolated activity is expected to continue over Jammu Kashmir, uh, Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand during the next two days. And uh, where by disturbed activity is expected to continue over northeast India during the next two three days. And thereafter is scattered to fairly by disturbed activity is expected to continue during the next uh, subsequent four or five days. As regards eastern parts of the country and certain center part of the country, today uh, eastern parts of Madhya Pradesh and uh, Bidharva, Chhattisgarh and uh, eastern parts of the Uttar, Uttar Pradesh is expected to receive isolated activity. Over eastern parts of the country, uh, this uh, today evening and night time, isolated to scattered activity is expected over Bihar, Jharkhand, and Odisha region and fairly wide spread, wide spread activity over West Bengal and Sikkim region. And uh, isolated activity is expected to continue during the next two days over South Minnesota India and adjoining regions of interior Maharashtra, including uh, Bidharva and Maratwala region. And from 7th of May, this activity will further increase over eastern parts of the country. Accordingly, fairly widespread to widespread activity is expected over Bihar, Jharkhand, Odisha, and Gangetic West Bengal and Sikkim region. And again, isolated to scattered activity uh, to continue over eastern uh, eastern parts of central India. And scattered activity, scattered activity is. Uh, uh, expected uh, over South Central India on 7th and 8th of May and on 9th again Kerala region on 8th and 9th fairly wide spread with heavy rainfall is expected over Kerala on 8th and uh, 9th of May. So this is uh, all about the fairly wide spread to wide spread distribution, distribution for northeast and eastern parts of the country and isolated is scattered over remaining parts of the country. As already mentioned that under the influence of a phase western disturbance uh, from which is likely to affect northwest India from 9th of 
9th of May. Accordingly, uh, these hills of Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand likely to receive uh, scattered activity and adjoining plants, including Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, and Rajasthan region, expected to receive a fresh spell from 9th of May, which is uh, about the distribution. And uh, as already mentioned, that heat wave conditions are in uh, now in reduced phase, reducing phase, so the impact will uh, slightly uh, reduce uh, day by day. And after two days, this impact of heat wave conditions uh, will further reduce over eastern and south central India. And uh, as already mentioned, that uh, some fresh spell of uh, heat wave conditions, which is likely to commence over uh, Saurashtra and Kutch region and western parts of Rajasthan, especially uh, from uh, a later part of these uh, during the next five days. So this is all about today's briefing. We'll discuss update tomorrow. Till then, Namaskar. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.